Hello everyone, and welcome to today's class. This is another chair yoga for weight loss video. So it'll be focused on more movement, some sun salutations and more flowing style. And with some strength postures, a little more movement, a little more warming. And we're gonna focus on opening the hips today. So let's begin as usual with feet flat on the floor, hands resting on your knees, and let's get started. So we've gone over the breath we use throughout the practice many times. If you've been practicing with me for a while, I usually go over in the beginning of practice, beginning of the class. And today we'll just do it briefly so we can spend more time on the exercises. And we'll also have a bit shorter relaxation than usual so you can focus on the, the movements and the stretches this time, okay? So basic breath is, if you haven't been here before, is using belly, ribs, and chest. So using the space below your rib cage, your abdomen, sides of your abdomen, front, back, expanding evenly in all directions, expanding your ribs out to the sides, your chest, opening your heart area, breathing into your collarbones, your space around your shoulders, neck, upper back. Basically, it's taking as big of a breath as you comfortably can and focusing on softening. That's the whole point, is softening any unnecessary tension in the body. You want the body to be as relaxed and soft as you can, just using what you need for the posture. Right? It's about calming the mind down, calming the body down. At the same time, we can engage muscles, but it's very focused and conscious what we're engaging. We're using what we need for the posture. In other words, if we're doing a leg, a leg exercise where we're using a lot of leg muscles, then try to be aware that you're not tensing in your neck, tensing the arms when it's not necessary. Okay? That's what we mean. And taking a breath, going for a breath where it feels like it's easy, it's easy and free. Your body freely expands, right? So it feels good, it feels good to take a full breath, okay? That's what we're going for, a full, open breath, so the body feels open and free to move, okay? Just keep that in mind throughout. So let's take a few of those to start. Inhaling through your nose. Of course, if your nose is blocked, feel free to breathe through your mouth, okay? Whatever's easiest. Inhaling, fill your belly, expand your ribs and your chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, abdomen. If it helps you focus, you can make a gentle constriction in your throat just so you can hear the sound of your own breathing. It's making a very soft, gentle, smooth sound. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to move with your own pace throughout the practice, but focus on moving with your own breath. So how, how does your body want to breathe? what's comfortable for your body. Deeper breaths than usual, so it takes a little bit of effort, right? But the exhale is relaxed, like you're just letting go, just letting the air come out. Inhale, and just letting go. Relax, focus on a soft, open body, so the practice feels good, like you're massaging your body from the inside with your breath, okay? Working towards that. Keep softening anything you don't need. Begin with hands resting on your knees, feet flat on the floor. You can let your eyes close if you like. And with your next exhale, drop your chin down towards your chest. Draw your chin gently towards your collarbones like you're lengthening the back of your neck, reaching crown of your head forward. Inhale, roll your left ear over towards your left shoulder. Try to feel like you're moving from the base of your neck rather than the back of your head. Exhale, roll your chin down to your chest. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Relax your left shoulder down. Exhale, chin to your chest. 
and continue alternating sides with your own breath at your own pace. Focus on again moving from base of your neck so you don't feel like you're moving from back of the head. It's more like lengthening than bending, like you're reaching the crown of your head up away from the base of your neck. And last time. Exhale, chin down to your chest. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together overhead. You can look up at the hands if that's comfortable for neck, lifting your chest a bit. Exhale, fold forward. Elbows can come to your knees or you can bring hands down to the ground. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead, palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your hands on your knees. Inhale, slide your hands to the tops of your thighs. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lift your chest, drop your head back a bit. Exhale, hands to your knees. Round your back, drawing your shoulder blades away from your spine, dropping your chin. And continue with your breath. Inhale, lift your chest, drop the head back, lifting from your heart, like you're lifting the heart straight out from between the shoulders. Exhale, round your back, hands to your knees, drawing your shoulder blades apart, like you're opening that space between your shoulder blades with your breath. Continue. Remember, the exercise doesn't have to be strenuous. You don't have to get out of breath. You don't have to sweat a ton. I only practiced for 20 minutes when I first started. And gradually build up. I still didn't do any of that really intense vinyasa stuff, you know, movement flowing stuff or strength postures. I just gradually build up, always breathing long, smooth breaths. Exhale, round. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together, lengthen your body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands can come to ground or elbows to knees. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms out at the sides, palms facing up, lift your chest, opening the chest, lifting the chin a bit. And exhale, cross your arms, either way is fine, we'll go both ways, just remember which way we're going. Drop your elbows down into your body, spreading your shoulder blades apart. Inhale, sweep your arms apart, palms facing up, lift your chest. Exhale, cross the other way, hands to arms or shoulders, round your back, dropping the elbows down, spreading your shoulder blades apart. Inhale, arms out, lift your chest. Exhale, cross the other way again. Hands to arms, drop the elbows in. Continue with your breath. Remember, there's so much more benefits than the sweating or burning calories. Try not to think of it that way. You're also reducing stress hormones and all that good stuff. And I won't get into the scientific stuff on you, right? It doesn't mean much to me anyway. <laughs> The thing that really matters, do you feel calmer, more relaxed? Does your body feel better? How do you feel? That's what matters. You want to feel good. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, elbows to knees if you like, or hands to ground, just flattening the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together, lift your chest. This time, exhale, bring right hand down to right side of the chair. You can grasp the base of the chair or just let it hang down by the side. Bring your left hand up and over. Focus on reaching towards the ceiling rather than bending. Don't try to lean towards the edge of the chair, but reach up. Inhale, bring left hand to left side, right hand up, lengthen, reach towards the ceiling, hinging over, lengthening. 
Inhale up and exhale right. Continue alternating sides with your breath. Focusing on lengthening between your hips and ribs. Try to make the whole breath match the movement always, as best you can. Okay, so there's many stages to doing the postures and it's good to focus on one thing at a time. So if you're new to the postures, you can focus more on just doing the posture, making it feel right for your body, experimenting, seeing what feels best for you. Once you get a hold of that and get, get it down pretty well, then start adding the breath in. Being very aware of the breath, long, smooth breaths. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart. And then bring your hands down to your knees and bring your feet about hip distance apart. Toes pointing out to the sides a bit. We'll go about 45 degrees. Bring your hands resting on the knees and lift your chest. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Come to your right and forward. Try to move from the crease below the buttocks. Inhale. Come up right. Exhale. Right and forward. Try to focus on moving like you're pressing your seat down into the ground and you're moving from the part touching the seat, okay? rather than from your low back or your hips, above your hip bones. Try to move from below, like you're deep in your hip crease as you move. Full breath. Inhale, come up. And reverse direction, exhale left and forward. Inhale upright, exhale forward. With your own breath, continue rotating. And inhale, come up. Sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. You could keep hands on the ground or bring elbows to knees again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold and we'll hold here. Hands can rest on the ground or elbows to knees if that's more comfortable for you. Breathing, belly, ribs and chest. Try to feel into the back of the body, the space between the shoulder blades. And again, just like we talked about before, try to relax any unnecessary tension in the place we're not stretching or using. Try to breathe into your upper back and using your breath to expand and stretch the upper back, breathing into areas that you normally don't breathe into, expanding the body freely. And inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. Bring your hands to your knees. And then turn towards your right first. Bring your left foot, so toes are pointing straight forward. And bring your right foot on the right side of the chair. So your toes are pointing straight out to the right. Both places try to have ankles under knees. Okay. Inhale, sweep your arms up to shoulder height. Gazing over your right fingertips, relax down your back, drawing down, engaging the muscles below your shoulder blades, lifting your chest, lifting your ribs, and relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders as best you can. Breathe deep breaths, belly, ribs, and chest. 
reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling if it helps you imagining a string tied to the top of your head being drawn straight up, lengthen your spine. And try to feel like your wrists are being drawn away from your heart, lifting out to the sides, opening away from the center of your chest, lengthening your arms. And another thing you can use in the practice is your gaze, a steady gaze. Right? It helps us focus, helps the mind calm, relax, just like focusing on the breath sensations in the body. Any of these is fine to focus on, but if you like gazing at the fingertips, keeping your gaze locked on the fingertips while we hold, breathe. And press into your feet a bit, engage your thighs. Right? Having a strong stance, remember moving towards standing, right? So engage your thighs, press down with your feet, have active body, draw in below your knee, engage your whole body. Then inhale, bring your back hand to the chair, the seat. Lift your right arm, palm facing away from the right leg, reaching towards the ceiling more than leaning back. Focus more on lengthening, right? The bend will come natural as space opens up between the hips and the ribs. Reaching up towards the ceiling. And again, if it's comfortable for your neck, gaze can be up at the fingertips, locking your eyes on the fingertips. If there's a leg down at the side of your chair, you can bring the hand down the leg, wherever's comfortable for you. But remember when you're going deeper in a posture, always let it come naturally. Don't try to force anything where it feels unsteady. You should always have a strong, sturdy base that you can rely on, the legs, the seat. Right? If you feel like most of the weight goes to the back hand on the, on the leg, then you've gone too far. Come back up, you'll get there eventually, and then bring, the, bring more weight, then come down further. But try to have the weight strong and sturdy in the legs and the feet. Inhale, exhale, bring your right elbow to your right knee, left hand up and over, lengthening your body, focusing on lengthening between hips and ribs especially, like you're reaching your fingertips up away from your hip, making the body as long as you can, and gradually you can go down further. So again, try to have a sturdy, strong base in your thighs. Feel your thighs engaged. Feel your, feel your butt pressing down into the chair and the weight all in the seat, right? If you come to the point where you feel like your, your arm's drawing up and you can go down further, then you can bring your arm down the side of your leg like this, see? And you can rest against the inside of your thigh, but don't do that if you feel like the weight comes, sinks down, right? And you feel like the weight hangs down and there's not as much weight in your feet and legs. You want to have a strong, sturdy base in the legs, and gradually you'll go down further and further. Eventually, if you want to bring your hand down, but focus on lengthening. And keep lengthening. If you use blocks in the practice, you can bring a block next to your foot. It doesn't have to be a block. You can use a book, something else. Gaze, again, can be up at your fingertips, lengthening your body, making as long as you comfortably can. Breathe. And then with your breath, inhale, arms to shoulder height. Exhale, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, gazing over the fingertips. Inhale, back hand to back thigh, right hand up, lengthen between your hips and ribs, reach up. Exhale, elbow to your knee, back hand up and over, lengthening, option to bring the hand down. Inhale, arms to shoulder height, warrior two, really moving from your core, drawing in below your navel, pressing down with your feet. Exhale. Inhale, back hand, back thigh, front hand up. Exhale, elbow to knee, back hand up and over. Inhale, arms to shoulder height. Exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale, back hand, back thigh, front hand up. Exhale, elbow to knee, back hand up and over. Inhale, arms to shoulder height, warrior two. Exhale, bring your hands down to your knees. Bring both feet around to the right side of your chair. Both feet flat on the ground. Then bring your hands Either option one, to the outside of your right thigh, you can rotate and twist from here, 
where you can bring one hand to the chair, both hands to back up the chair. Remember, don't force him, force him to twist. And try to rotate from a soft abdomen, never forcing, right? Be, be careful with your spine, be very sensitive. Take your time, it's softening. Everything's softening into the posture. We're never pushing into the posture or pulling. Very gentle. Inhale, lengthen your spine, reach the crown towards the ceiling. From between your hips and ribs, tops of your, the bigger hip bone up top here and the base of your ribs. Exhale, rotate around towards the back of your chair. And keep breathing. Try to only go so far as you can, where you still feel you can maintain a deep breath. Finding space to breathe. Remember, you're stretching from the outside with the posture and from the inside with your breath. Okay, so be aware of both, equally important. Keep softening the sides of your abdomen, gently rotating, using your hands to guide. And breathe, softening into the posture, not pulling. Just guiding the body with the hands. Inhale, turn to face forward. Come all the way around to the front. Feet flat on the floor. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, elbows to knees or flattening the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, bring hands down to the sides of your chair, grasping the bottom of the chair with your arms. Inhale, lift your chest, draw your shoulder blades together and down your back, like you're lifting the heart straight out from between the shoulders. Breathing deeply into the chest. You can drop the head back if that's comfortable, but feel more like you're lifting your chin towards the ceiling, lengthening always rather than bending or dropping the head back, but lengthening. Lifting your ribs, drawing down your back. Try not to feel anything in the low back. Focus on lifting the ribs, softening the chest muscles. You can bring hands down to the legs of the chair if that's more comfortable for you. And inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. And then turn towards your left. Bringing your right leg, heel under your ankle, toes pointing forward, left leg pointing straight out to the left, toes and again ankle under the knee. Inhale, arms to shoulder height, warrior two. Gazing over the front finger again, you can use the gaze, eyes locked on the fingertips. Reach the crown towards the ceiling, lengthening your spine, lifting your chest, draw your wrists away from your heart, lengthening your arms, draw down your back, engaging below your shoulder blades. Press your feet down again, try to feel your thighs engage a little bit. Draw the space below your navel and towards your spine. A strong, controlled posture, right? Relax whatever you don't need but strong, sturdy posture. Breathe, belly, ribs, and chest. And then inhale, bring right hand to the leg of the chair or the seat of the chair, wherever is comfortable. Lift your left arm, reaching towards the ceiling, lengthening more than bending. Still pressing firmly through the feet and seat. Have your legs nice and strong, right? Moving towards standing posture. So start strengthening your legs, drawing the space in below your navel. Breathe. Gaze can be up at the fingertips again. And exhale. Bring your left elbow to the left knee, right hand up and over, lengthening from your hip up to your fingertips. 
Option to gaze up at your hand, and you can stay here, reaching up, lengthening. If you feel like your body naturally comes over without taking weight out of the seat, without taking weight out of the legs, then bring your arm down, just as we did before. Right? Like you're opening the inside of your left thigh, still lengthening your body. If your posture looks like this and your body leans forward, then don't bring, don't bring your arm down. Keep your elbow on the knee, right? lengthening. If, the, if you can stay open in the body and bringing the arm down, then bring the arm down, opening the inside of your left hip more. Right? Gradually lurking towards deeper posture and being patient, let your body naturally open to it. It's a process, right? A process that really never ends. If you keep doing the postures, there's always something else to open, always something else to strengthen, always something else to work on, right? The breath. So, so much, it's just an endless process. There's no right position, there's no perfect posture. It's what feels right for your body, right? What makes your body feel better, your mind feel calmer. And inhale, bring your arms to shoulder height. Warrior two, gazing over left fingertips. Exhale, relax your neck, draw down your back. Inhale, back hand, leg of the chair. Reach your left hand up. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Right hand up and over. You can also bring the arm down if you like. Inhale, arms to shoulder height. Exhale, relax your neck. Inhale, right hand up to the leg. Exhale, elbow to knee, back hand up and over. Inhale, arms to shoulder height. Exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale, right hand to leg of chair. Exhale, elbow to knee, back hand up and over, lengthen the body, gaze at the fingertips. Inhale, arms to shoulder height. Exhale, hands to knees, turn to face towards your left. Feet flat on the floor, knees over the ankles. Option one, bring your hands to the outside of your left thigh, rotating that way, or you can bring your hands to the back of the chair. And again, just guiding yourself. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, gently rotate towards the back of the chair. Remember, moving from the space between hips and ribs, the bigger top of your hip bone, and the space below your ribs. Try to soften your abdomen, relaxing into the posture, using the hands just to guide rather than pull into the twist. Maintain nice deep breaths and using the breath to soften into the posture. And inhale, turn your face forward, come all the way around to the front. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together, lengthen your sides. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen, flattening your back, elbows to knees if you like. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, hands down to your chair, camel pose again. Grasping the base of the chair or the legs if that's comfortable. Inhale, lift your chest, drawing down your back, lifting from your front ribs. Use your breath, expand your chest, breathe deep. Try to work towards your body freely expanding so it feels wonderful to take a full breath. It's a beautiful thing that's always there. It's so enjoyable if you fully enjoy it, your breath. So expansive, you can even feel it, you can feel it through the whole body even, right, if you pay attention. Right? A sensation through the whole body when you inhale, enjoying that. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands can come down to ground. 
or elbows to knees. We're going to hold in forward fold, so relax the back of your neck. Soften between your shoulder blades. And just allowing your body to relax and breathe. Try to find space in sides of your body, back of your body, softening the back of your neck between your shoulder blades. Like you're stretching your body from the inside with your breath. And be curious, right? Like a scientist, observe, experiment. Feel free to make little adjustments always. Change the way your breath is, change the way you breathe, change the angle of your feet or the posture so it feels right for your body, right? Only you know what you feel like inside. And that's all that matters, is what feels right for you. Inhale, come all the way up, palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart. And then slide to the back of your chair for Shavasana, final relaxation posture. Bring your feet wide. And let your legs come out if you like. Rest your back against the chair. Hands can be resting on your thighs, palms up or down. I find palms up is nicer. You breathe much easier. Open chest. And let your eyes softly close. Feeling your body breathing, your natural breath, letting go of the practice. And soften your whole face, your forehead, your eyes. Just letting them relax back into the head a bit. Nothing to look at now. Soften your whole jaw from ear to ear. Your cheeks. Your lips and your nose. Allow the body to be completely supported by the chair, relaxing the thighs, the back. And let go of that full breath, just come into your natural, normal breath, however your body wants to breathe, if you completely let go of control of the breath. And focus on feeling the sensation of the air flowing through your nose. And looking at the blank space on the backs of your eyelids. And if the mind comes in, if thought comes in, don't try to push anything away. Just be aware it's there. Let it move just like the breath. Natural process. It's okay. Try not to grab onto anything, whether you're holding onto it or pushing it away. Just keep letting it move. Keep coming back to your body, to your breath. Something that's happening now, that's here now. Sensations in your body, whatever that is. In your breath, the sensation of the air flowing through your nose. And just be for a few moments, allowing yourself to simply be. Just observe what's happening in your body. See if you could let go of moving for a moment both mentally and physically. And if you'd like to stay here longer, feel free to enjoy. Otherwise, waking your body up, moving your hands and your feet. Taking a few deeper breaths. And 
And then bring your feet flat on the floor, hip distance apart. And when you feel ready, opening your eyes. So thank you all for practicing with me today. If there's anything you'd like to see, if you're enjoying these uh, Yoga for Weight Loss series, then uh, let me know in the comments if there's something specifically you want to work on or something you'd like to stretch or strengthen, some breathing, more, more breathing or more relaxation. Okay, let me know and I'll see if I can add it into the next class, okay? So thank you for practicing with me today and see you next time.